Thank you, Joe. Anokteran uh, Agus Guina Ushla. I'm particularly pleased to be here today uh, to be able to offer some comments in support of the launch of the Irish Young Philosophers Award on this World Philosophy Day uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, first, philosophy is immensely important to us in the universities as a discipline which has distinctive concerns and methods for understanding the world. These concerns include, of course, as the President has already said, uh, the existential issues of why we exist, what is the purpose of life, and so on. But the concerns include also some extremely important and pressing issues, such as what counts as truth, and why, uh, and, and, why and more generally, the epistemological concern to understand how we know what we know, and how we can rely on what we know, a central issue understanding the uh, respective roles of expertise in relation to uh, politics. And then there are the normative questions relating to our behaviours, capturing the concept of ethics in both public and private life, of which, uh, which are also prominent amongst our concerns with understanding what is the right and indeed the wrong thing to do, not just as proactive actors, but also for bystanders. Thus, philosophy provides a grounding not simply in the humanities, for example, touching on questions of aesthetics, what is meant by beauty, but also for the sciences, what counts as knowledge and why, and similarly in the social sciences, why are we governed how we are, and how can government be more engaging and more deliberative in its processes. Across so many of our disciplines and practices, I have a strong sense that we can further enhance our potential through developing the kind of reflection and self-reflexive capacity that philosophy promotes so effectively and with such vigour. In recent discussions about the structures of the colleges and schools at UCD, I was extremely pleased to retain, within the college I lead, UCD's School of Philosophy, within what is now the College of Social Sciences and Law. UCD School of Philosophy is an entrepreneurial school in the best sense of the word, in that they seek and work with opportunities to expand the reach of the discipline, uh, for example, uh, by setting up the UCD Centre of Ethics and Public Life, which is being, uh, was launched re recently, it is being launched next week, I think the President will be visiting early in the new year. Engaging, this new centre engages the widest range of disciplines across UCD over vital issues, uh, addressing the, the point the President's made about the need for interdisciplinary engagement across all the disciplines of the university. And I think the new centre will centrally contribute uh, to our understanding of what ethics can be and should be for a modern society. The School of Philosophy has also been in, uh, a leader in the reshaping of undergraduate education at UCD with exciting new offerings such as politics, philosophy and economics within a new four-year social sciences programme. UCD's future philosophy students, and I hope some of you are here today and will become and study at UCD, uh, you will benefit from the vision of the school and colleagues right across our college in establishing deeper opportunities for engaging, developing and applying key ideas and key critical and creative research skills, for developing intercultural competences through studying abroad, and for securing professional and practice experience both through internships and through new kinds of on-campus opportunities, including alumni mentoring. And I should be clear that these changes are not about narrow concerns with employability of humanities and social sciences graduates, but rather reflect a larger ambition we have in UCD about the formation of graduates who have significant capacity for reflection and understanding of their environment and both substantive knowledge and skills to be able to make a difference to their world. So this Young Philosophers Awards program, which is launched today, is an example of this vision and entrepreneurialism, notably from my UCD colleagues, Dr. Daniel Petherbridge from UCD School of Philosophy and Dr. Ornia Mahan from UCD School of Education. And I'm very proud to be here today to support their initiative in developing this program. It's vitally important that primary and secondary students can engage with enthusiasm with the world of ideas, that they're encouraged to develop critical skills that enable them to look beyond what they are told and both to understand the nature of and the importance of making judgments around key so social issues for themselves. This competition will provide great encouragement both to students and teachers involved in the Philosophy for Children programme, P4C, at primary level, and in the new Junior Certificate Philosophy programme 
uh, at, at, secondary, at secondary level. And this will create opportunities for the students to develop and test their ideas both within and beyond the classroom. These developments at primary and secondary level to encourage and stimulate the kind of critical and creative thinking about ideas that enables a fuller participation in society will also support the activities of our higher education institutions to sustain and develop critical and creative thinking generally and philosophy in particular at third level. We in the universities are very committed to fostering a challenging and rewarding learning experience across the humanities, the social sciences and also the STEM disciplines, science, technology, engineering, maths and health. And philosophy remains a core underpinning of all these endeavours. This is why this initiative, the Irish Young Philosophers Awards, is so significant as a partnership and a commitment between higher, secondary and primary education and a wider network of enthusiasts for philosophy uh, who I applaud and who are so well represented uh, here today. May I conclude by thanking the President and Mrs Higgins for their support for the Young Philosophers Awards. More generally, the commitment you have both shown through words and actions to the role of knowledge in advancing both the understanding and the development of society has been a great source of pride, but also an important source of support for those at every level who work to advance research and education. Uh, truly, as Joe Humphreys has indicated earlier, you've given us the presidency of ideas, uh, which you, President, promised in your inauguration speech. And this event today is a further chapter in the story of the positive impact of your leadership for our country. Thank you.